There's no telling where this will lead us. We're on the ocean? Ah. Relax, Chloe. We're not sinking. It's okay. Hey, you're right. Why not? We're probably not in the real world. Ah, it's not real. Thank goodness. Ah! <clears throat> I apologize for my outbursts. Oh well, I guess it all worked out in the end. Shirley! She disappeared. She was staring straight up. Is something up there? the gate. All right! I've been waiting for this! Oh, yet another type. What luck. Play. 
Flame Blade! Now we finally understand the relationship between the sea, the shooting star, and the pillar of water. 
all the information came together in the end. But it's difficult to believe. Seriously? That shooting star was actually the white rectangular ship? Another tablet. What's drawn on this one? I see. Looks like the moment the shooting star, the white ship, fell. We can talk once we get back to camp. Well then, let's go over what we've seen again. Could it be that the Radiant are a different species that came from another world? I can't see any other explanation. The white ship did come down from the sky. That's pretty difficult to believe, though. It sounds so crazy. But you know, when you think about it, the Radiant are pretty different from us. Their hair glows, they breathe underwater, they make terror quests and fly through the air? Yes. The Radiant are a completely different species from us. We should probably consider what that means carefully. You two sure are emphasizing the word different. I think that's because that someone is thinking the same thing. Think back for a moment. What we wanted to know was the reason why humans and Radiant hate each other. Then we saw what we saw. What if that someone is saying that humans and Radiant are simply too different? And that the source of the hatred lies there? 
So it's telling us that peace is hopeless? No. Don't say Hell that. No. The Radiant themselves have declared us their enemies. We can't ignore the situation. But still... Honestly, when I learned that the Radiant came from another world, it scared me like nothing else ever has. Don't tell me the rest of you didn't feel something like that. Well... It doesn't matter where the Farinists come from. What about you two? Chloe? Moses? Do you really think it doesn't matter? In your hearts, aren't you thinking the same thing I am? Jay, that's enough! Whoever it is that's showing us these images, where are you? Show yourself! If you've got something to say, come out and say it. Stop playing around. Well? Hey! Damn it! Jay, you know who this someone is, don't you? Yes, well, perhaps it's time we talked about that. When we first came to the Quiet Lands, do you remember what I said we should do? You said we needed to ascertain what Nerefus is. Yes. Well, what do we currently know about this so-called Nerefus? We know that the Marinus is its agent. Exactly. Also, Shirley said she hears the voice of Nerefus. There was something else about Nerefis. What was it? The Radiant intend to purge mankind in accordance with the will of Nerefis. That's right. Doesn't that sound kind of similar to the images this someone has been showing us? Exactly. Very perceptive. As the Radiant are to Nerefis, so we are to that someone. Meaning what exactly? That someone is... also Nerefis? But that doesn't make any sense. If that someone were Nerefis, it would be strange for it to be supporting us. Right. So what could that mean? Another Nerefis in the Quiet Lands? Separate from the one up above? That is what I believe. So this other Nerefis is the one that's been leading us? Yes. You sure about all this? So wait, just what is this Nerefus anyway? Groon? No way. No, look beyond her. But there's nothing, just... Yes. Nerefus is the will of the sea. The sea itself. <gasps> the entity we've been referring to as someone has been beside us the whole time. A universal presence, an overwhelming influence. And think of what would give solace to the Radiant, the Farinus, the people of the water. The sea. The Marinus' true power is probably the ability to communicate with Nerefus. Right. She's its age. Yeah, Cheryl said she can hear the sea. Shirley is planning to use the power of Nerefus to do something. This much we can be sure of. Purge mankind. This Nerefus in the Quiet Lands must have sensed that danger and led us here. That's a nice theory, but you got any proof? None at all. Thought so. So we'll just have to ask. You who hears our voices, if I am right, please give us a sign. Tell us what the Radiant are trying to do. That's our next destination. Looks like we're about to the finale. I wonder what we're going to see. Don't run away now, Sennel. 
You want to see the truth, don't you? No one's doing any running. I'll remember you said that. Don't let him get you, Sentinel. You can have confidence in those three years you shared with Shirley. Confidence. Everything's hinging on your feelings. Yeah, I know. It's already been three years since we started living here. Time sure flies. Thanks for everything you've done for me, Seno. What's up? It's not like we're saying goodbye or anything. I've been meaning to say that for ages. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. I sacrificed myself in order to save you. You haven't forgotten that, have you? Jay? You're still awake. Jay, you look scary. Really? Your eyes look like the Jay from long ago. Jay, are you planning to do something about Shirley by yourself? I'm worried about leaving it to them. I have more experience with certain matters. Yes, lots of experience. How is the Marinus? The wings of light show no signs of activation. I didn't expect it to take this long. It's possible that the Marinus Awakening is not yet fully complete. What? If so, then Senel is likely the cause. Senel? That little... We must be prepared just in case. Let us formulate a plan at once. <laughs> 